हेलो हेलो टेस्टिंग हेलो हाँ जी Motivated film of S S Rajamouli is here, and it's certainly worth the wait with a pinch of salt. The renowned director is known for creating a fantasy world of his own, and in R R R he does that yet again, but along with exploiting a historical reference as a mere ploy. Hence, presenting it as a historical fantasy, this is also one of those rare films in which we have to use the phrase "keep the logical minds at home," even when it takes the strong references of two real-life revolutionaries from the mid-20th century revolting against the British Raj. Continuing with his famous and well-accepted brand of cinema, Rajamouli conceives R R R as an entertaining mix of history, fantasy, and mythology that is bound to receive its fair share of criticism, besides the roaring applause. But then it does turn out to be a big winner in the end, both in terms of entertainment and value for money, without any doubt. RRR clearly declares to be a loud and larger-than-life cinematic spectacle right from the word go, accompanied by a notable background score. While the music remains average, it's the BGM and cinematography that forms the backbone of the entire film, superbly gelling with the grand visuals and action enhanced by the VFX department. Yes, the VFX has its limitations, visible in a few places, but the technical departments successfully create an unbelievable marvel together, bringing alive the vision of the genius S. S. Rajamouli. As I felt, Rajamouli was never interested in telling any story here, to be precise. The film never relies upon its story content. As a screenplay writer and director, Rajamouli must have had the key sequences of the film very clear in his mind. and that's what he plays around with in the 3 hours long duration i would call it very intelligent filmmaking wherein the director has a rare clarity about what is going to win over his audience when those sequences will come and how explaining it further rajamouli is the exceptional writer director of the present era who very well knows the meaning and importance of the hero's entry in indian cinema along with the crucial placement of pre and post interval sequences coming before the crescendo created in the climax So instead of following the textbook format of a three-act screenplay, he devises his films on these crucial key points, as I believe, which is quite evident while witnessing the script progression of R R R. Unbelievable and illogical they all may seem, but every sequence coming at these important junctures of the film proves to be a big winner for most of the audience sitting in the theater. Though the drag appears in the second half. Rajamouli still manages to keep it going even when the references of Ramayan and sudden transformation into a mythological character seem to be all forced and intentional. In other words, Rajamouli knows how to pump our blood with an unexpected amalgamation of energetic visuals, music and performance creating a mesmerizing impact on the screen. RRR is an overblown ambitious extravaganza in those terms. which also becomes the reason why it falls short of the storytelling we witnessed in its bahubali series and many more movies of the past the story narration gets lost in rrr's scale continuous action and hyper presentation focusing on the heroes in particular as a result it hasn't got any breathing space or touch of human emotions except in the opening sequence when the little girl gets taken away by the british officer and his wife Its basic premise is of a revolt, yet there is no empathetic depiction of the tribal rebellions as a community. The performances also keep focusing on the action, but excel doing the same, forcing you to sit back and notice the hard work done. Both Ram Charan and Anti Rama Rao Jr. put in all they have playing the two warriors, also sharing some lighter moments in the film's first half. They together display some amazing dancing skills in the film's most promoted song. representing fire and water their friendship and conflict works generating thundering applause in the theater watching the eye popping action at the same time a few over the top insertions force you to watch it with a frown like the initial sequences of one man winning over thousands of agitators the two saving a boy swinging over the bridge and the fight lifting the motorcycle towards the end the heroes miraculously recovering from the severe wounds and torture in just the next scenes breaking the continuity also become noticeable as a concerning element 
Ajay Devgan looks fine in his brief appearance but delivers nothing exceptional playing the father in the flashback sequences. Plus, Alia Bhatt simply did this because of the brand Raja Moli. So if you're expecting a lot as an Alia Bhatt fan, then you're bound to get disappointed watching her in just a few insignificant scenes. The same can be said about Shriya Saran and Samuthi Rakani trying their best in their limited appearance. On the other hand, Ray Stevenson and Alison Doody played really well as the evil British along with Olivia Morris winning hearts as the good-hearted lady. Hearing about its fair share of limitations, one might wonder what actually makes RRR work in an unprecedented manner satisfying the excited audience. It's nothing else but the powerful conviction of a blessed visionary director presenting it like a never-before kind of action-packed entertainment package on the screen. Despite all the shortcomings, the film works as it amazes you with many pleasant jaw-dropping surprises coming one after another in a long three-hour film and you don't mind the length enjoying it like a cheerful kid. The hard-to-believe yet superbly crafted sequences of events make you feel wow at multiple points in the film and you come out largely satisfied with the presentation getting the worth of your time and money spent on the high ticket prices. Addressing the present generation, RRR is exactly how the veteran Manmohan Desai conceived his films with a strong conviction even when it all looked like completely impossible and illogical. Clearing the doubts of his actors performing a weird sequence, Desai firmly used to say, You leave that to me and don't worry as I know my audience. They would like to believe in it and I will make them believe providing the expected entertainment. That's exactly how you feel watching RRR as an enthusiastic fan and lover of Indian cinema clapping and shouting, ignoring all its illogical absurdities in the full-blown but grandly choreographed action sequences. Rajamoli makes you do that, proving his convincing hold on the medium and you feel immensely satisfied asking for more. That is where RRR probably goes beyond Bahubali 2 if we only consider entertainment and edge-of-the-seat sequences offered by a film. While Bahubali excelled in its storytelling and perfection, RRR excels in its magical presentation purely made to entertain and enthrall its audience. Having said that, RRR is also a film that will generate this impact only in the theatres, witness along a deafening soundtrack getting your complete attention. On the smaller screen, it might appear to be a pretty overpraised and forceful film in absence of the thrilling and unmatchable theatre experience. It's a fact because the absurdities that willfully get ignored in the theatre get easily noticed while casually watching a film on the smaller screen generating a different response. This also can be stated as the key distinction between the filmmaking of Bahubali and RRR. While Bahubali doesn't let you question its larger than life depiction re-watching it on the smaller screen, RRR might fail that test due to its overindulgence in action and a kind of desperation to impress and mesmerize the audience. Therefore, in case you are thinking of catching it later, post the OTT release, then don't do that mistake as then you will be missing a lifetime experience of witnessing how we used to celebrate Indian cinema in the gone decades. RRR gives that golden chance yet again in 2022 and one shouldn't miss that opportunity provided by SS Rajamoli and his team. Interestingly, it also has Rajamoli coming on screen in the song video playing along with the end credits. The song features prominent revolutionaries of our freedom struggle, questionably missing Gandhi. Perhaps Rajamoli wished to feature only the action-oriented, aggressive revolutionaries as depicted in the film. Summing up, do watch it in theatres and have a great time celebrating cinema with an exceptional team. The film gets the rating of 3.5 at BTC with the additional praises purely for the conviction of SS Rajamoli making us believe the unbelievable. Take care and keep watching Bobby Talks Cinema at YouTube.